Hi, Adam. Here's and I'm coming to you, as always, from the digital studios of Market Club. And we're going to be looking at the three major indices today, the Dow, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ, to see exactly where they are. But I think there's some interesting things to look at, first of all. I have a chart of the Dow. That's DJI. It's a daily close-only chart. And we're going back to the highs that we saw in the Dow on October 10th of 2007, which is right here. We've already drawn in the Fibonacci retracement level to the lows that we saw here on March 6th at 6,469. So it's 6,469.95. That was the low that we saw in the Dow. Since that time, you can see the market has gone up quite dramatically, and we made new highs coming into today. So again, if you look at our monthly trade triangles, which is right here, you can see at 8,315.07, that's when the trend, and that's how we define the trend, with the monthly trade triangle started to move up. So obviously we've been up since that time period, and that is uh, quite significant to the upside. So one of the things we've been talking about are our Fibonacci retracements, the 50% and the 61.8%. This would be probably our next target zone, uh, for the Dow, 11,216.66. That would be a really classic Fibonacci retracement level. Now, whether we get there or not remains to be seen. However, the trend is up, and you should be aware that that trend is very strong and in place. You also, you are incredibly overbought on the RSI indicator, which we have right here. So you can see uh, you have to go, <laughs> this is the highest we've ever been, which means uh, there's a lot of... Uh, strength in the market for the time being, but I think this is a cautionary tale. Uh, I think if you're trading on the long side, you want to have stops in on this position. So let's go take a look at our next market, which is going to be the S&P 500. Okay, we're back in. We're looking at the S&P 500. The symbol you're probably familiar with it now is INX on Market Club. And we've gone from the highs right here, and that's at 1000 561.08. That's on a close-only basis. And we've drawn our Fibonacci line, which you can see right here, to the lows that we saw in this market. And that was on March 6th at 666.79. Since that time, the market's had a very nice move up. And you can see our trade triangle, our monthly trade triangle, which kicked in on this market at 888.70. And that kicked in on 4th of May. So I think that's a pretty nice run uh, that we've had in this market, and uh, we are well into a uh, year after the, the lows that we're seeing back here. But this is the area I want to bring you your, to your attention, this le level here, 1,222.54. That represents a 61.8% correction from the highs that were seen back in 2007 on October 10th. So are we going to get there? Well, the way the market's going right now, the trend is definitely up. We're way, way extended on the RSI. This is the RSI indicator. Uh, but right now, you just have to hold on with tight stops. That's the key thing. But it looks as though the market is heading that way. But again, we are in an area where we're probably going to see some sort of reversal, but it's too early to call a top in this market. Uh, and picking tops is not usually a winning solution in trading markets. So let's take a look at our last market. That's going to be the NASDAQ, so stay tuned. Okay, we're back and we're looking at the NASDAQ, symbol COMP on Market Club. And we went back to the highs that we saw. And the NASDAQ is a little interesting because that came in actually about um, 11 days after the highs seen on the Dow and on the S&P 500. On, it came actually on the high of October 31st of 07. We've drawn our Fibonacci line in to the lows that we saw again, and that came; those lows came in March 9th, a few days after the lows on March 6th of both the Dow and the S&P 500. So we've had the move up, very nice move up. We have our trade triangle, caught this early at 1,665.63, meaning the trend is up, the major trend is up. We use our monthly trade triangles for major trends in the all the indices. So this market has actually gone further than we expected. And uh, not to say that's a bad thing, but the reality is the trend is very clearly up. 
and we could see the market run into space of problems right around these levels, around the 2500 area, where psychologically that's going to be a very big barrier for this market. But we're very extended on the RSI like we are in all of the indices. And whether we see this market continue to go straight up, which I think is doubtful, I think we'll see the trend is still intact. Unless we see a reversal in the trend, that's going to take quite something at this point in time. Um, we want to basically be looking at this market more from the long side than the short side, but any longs you have on at this point in time have very, very tight stops on. So that's what we're looking at in both the Dow, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ. The trend is your friend. The trend is up in those markets, but please be careful at these levels. This is Adam Hewison for Market Club. Thanks for stopping by. Every success.